There goes the bell now to start the action here at the ringside in the Sam Houston Coliseum. And the gentleman in those characteristic long pants that he wears, and you can't call them anything except uh, pants, they are sweatpants, is Jake the Snake Roberts. His opposition, Rob Ricksteiner. Powerfully built young man who uh, can look ahead to a long career in wrestling if he manages to get past the earlier matches. He has recently come into the game, but he is a man who learns rapidly and has the power with which to carry out the things that his brain tells him he should do. Twisting arm lock, and as he maneuvers around Jake the Snake, these fans uh, come to life and they start screaming to referee Carl Fergie to tell him that the man pulled hair and used an illegal method of taking the snake down to the mat. Jake is ready. Jake wants to move in with that big fist of his and as his t-shirt always says, he is cruel but he's fair. And he figures if a man has been doing something illegal to him, he's going to repay him in kind. You saw it, he did it. And that Rick Steiner is the picture of a powerhouse, I'll tell you. He has a lot of utility in that muscular body of his, and he's trying to get the referee now to do something about the hair pulling because it's happening to him. Jake is getting just a little bit hostile as he walks back and forth, literally. Listen, listen. DDT, and I want to tell you that has become a popular battle cry as Rob Ricksteiner moves outside that ring to gain a measure of protection, DDT was tempted to come over and plant his foot, but he didn't do it. Kicking a man when he isn't looking is cruel, but sometimes it's fair. Rob Ricksteiner, tough customer, and I want to tell you, a star to be in this game, when you come in with that advantage of having that much body, that much athletic ability, then you're going to go places. Jake the Snake has decided that maybe he's approaching this in the wrong manner, and that turning loose on Rob Ricksteiner might be the way that he can best do something about it. And Ricksteiner, urges the referee to get Jake to open up those cruel but fair fists. Jake has caught on in a tremendous manner with these Houston fans. He is a man who has scored well with him. They like what he does in the ring and they like what he does outside. A body slam and a beauty. Here he goes for the DDT, that sudden drop into a face lock that, that literally uh, annihilates his opponents. That is one of the most effective holes that I have seen in many years. Of course, it has, front face lock has existed in wrestling for many years, but it's the manner in which Jake the Snake incorporates it into his general attack that really pays off. You hear it, you hear it. You see the struggle in there as they maneuver around in, in the ring. And it's Jake the Snake who came up the winner. He's the guy who got the best of that struggle. Here goes for the DDT, and look at I'll tell you, Rob Ricksteiner is acting like Jake the Snake. Jake the Snake has slithered around that ring, and 
and escaped a lot of punishment during his career. The five minute mark has gone by and Rob Ricksteiner feels that maybe he could learn to do the same thing. But Jake isn't going any place now except at Rob, head on. You can hear that noise, that chant, the chant that follows him every place he goes. Jake now using the soft approach. This test of strength goes to Rick Steiner. Rick Steiner is able to get the pressure on those hands. He's able to bend the back. And now as Jake comes up, he looks for the opportunity to even it. But I tell you, pride is worth fighting for, but it can sure get you into trouble. Jake could find another way out of this, but uh, he was trying to equal the pressure being put on by Rob Ricksteiner. Go, Jake, go. That's not exactly DDT, but when he gets in position for it, they'll give him the DDT chant. So we've got Rob Ricksteiner trying to put Jake the Snake down by sheer muscle. Oh, he went for the open spot, the wide open space in there under those arms and against the the ribs pressured down on that top rope and you saw the snap of the rope and as we have told you many times the ropes are really cables covered with rubber now Jake's in trouble he has caught some of the effectiveness of the combination of um, Rick Steiner's muscle Rick Steiner's ability and he is trying to recover from that so that he can move in on this man and take care of him. Jake into the ropes. He got a shoulder. The shoulder swung around and hit him. Offensive move by uh, Rob Ricksteiner and Jake's in trouble. Rabbit punch and now he had to fight his way out from underneath with a hard, hard bench press move. Reverse chin lock. Now the Joe goes Jake go. There on Jake's side and the go Jake go rings out here in the Sam Houston Coliseum. And as Jake moves up to one knee and one foot, he's halfway up there, but that's a, there it is. And Rob Ricksteiner isn't, isn't sure, he's not certain that he can do it with strength, so he gets around for the illegal leverage and sure did it that time. So Jake's caught. The snake is in a noose right now and in a trap too. And as he starts to maneuver, Rob Ricksteiner is able to shift that referee around almost at will as he goes from one side to the other. Is it a chokehold? Well, if that chin remains in the crook of the arm, it's not a chokehold. But if he lets that slip down and uses the forearm against the throat, it sure becomes a chokehold. And it only takes an inch or two of movement to do it. Jake goes for the standing arm lock, the Japanese arm lock. And again, he was jerked off his feet that time and taken down to the canvas. And Carl Fergie's arguing with Rick Steiner. The fans are snitching on Rick Steiner. They're telling the referee that he did pull the hair. But Rick Steiner knows the referee didn't actually see it and is hesitating about breaking it because he... He knows that he's supposed to see what happens. So Rick Steiner stays behind Jake. He leans in solidly and presses against the back of Jake's head, pushes that chin forward. And as 
Jake maneuvers around to get into a position. You see him fighting his way up. Ten minutes have gone by. Ten minutes, and Jake comes driving back with that elbow, found tender territory, out of the ring and off onto the floor right here alongside of us, almost in our lap. Jake the Snake. There's Rick Steiner outside the ropes and doing the clubbing and smash. He, he smashed Jake the Snake into the ring post and watch out, here's Jake the Snake. No! Oh, 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 oh! He crashed him down into the mat. Tremendous move. And this crowd just jumped up to its feet. Those people just let loose a roar. Look around at this crowd if you can. The people standing up there screaming and the moment that head hit that canvas, they let out a roar, a much deserved roar. Jake the Snake is a winner and Jake the Snake used the DDT. You couldn't find happier fans any place than those here in the Sam Houston Coliseum.